With us is our original collaborator for Kingpins Amsterdam, Marriott. Hello. Hi. Hi, welcome. <laughs> so good to see you, finally. Yeah, it's nice to see you. The only time we can see each other is on some sort of digital um, zone. We can't. <laughs> but anyway, here we are. Here we are. Yes. Okay. So thank you for joining us and thank you for always being a supporter of our event. We are so grateful. Um, I wanted to ask you today a couple of questions. One was to share with everybody. What is what's going on with the Gene School? Yeah, well, uh, basically we had a lockdown, but that didn't last too long. And uh, the school is running. So uh, students are all there. And uh, Denim City in the Halle, where I think every one of you already was, uh, mm -hmm. is open. Uh, and of course, with all the rules and regulations, but we're basically doing fine. And the students are really happy because of this whole situation. It feels like a safe haven to go there and to be able to work and to make something and to uh, do projects together. So it's uh, in a way good. So the school is basically going on as if it's per perfectly like last year, exactly. Yeah, uh, it is. Well, of course, with a lot of uh, uh, rules, but, uh, right. but still, um, yeah, we're doing fine. And um, yeah, I think uh, Mira, the head of the school will agree as well. Well, that's really great. And that's great to hear. And then um, there are other services that the school in Denham City offer. So what, what are the services? I want everyone who's watching to know what they can have from, from Denham City. Yeah, well, Denham City is a unique place in the world because it's like a Denham innovation campus. And um, there's a store where you can have consumers walking in buying your jeans, uh, which is also very nice because next to that, we have students uh, who are part of the school and we have a lab and we have a workshop there. So you can either do your repairs there or you can get like ozone or laser treatment on, on your items. Uh, and next to that, we have courses um, for both students and for industry and for consumers in which they can learn more about sustainability, but also for example, how to make a jeans. So there's a lot of people here would love to make their own jeans. This is part of this whole COVID thing also makes us to, uh, well, to realize that if you make something yourself it would be really nice. So we offer that as well. Uh, but the main focus is to, to educate people on uh, sustainability, uh, always combined with innovation, of course. So. Um, and do you want to talk about the students and, their, and, the, and the need for internships and jobs? Can we talk about that? Because we have lots yeah. of people watching who could probably help. Yeah, I think, well, this is a shout out to everyone in the industry. There's a next generation who's really more than willing to do anything you want them to do. Uh, they're here to learn. Uh, we're all part of this whole new world anyway. And um, uh, I think for them, uh, it's super important that they get internships. So um, I would like to have a, well, at least a call for everyone. Contact me, Mariette at at houseofdenim.org uh, because, well, we're looking for internships, of course. Um, next to that, uh, there's a lot of students which already start their own label. And I think this is really important right now. You see a new generation who basically has a new view on what's happening and they start their own label and they make this, they actually make it in Denim City and they sell it through Instagram. So um, there's a lot going on. Even this summer, they made their own, um, because of the lockdown, they could not go on internships. And then Jos and Maarten, who work at uh, Denim City, decided to have a group of students making a label together. It's called Square One. And if you want to read more about it, check the Long John Denim blog, because then you can see it. Um, it's about uh, the impact of the fashion industry on our world and how to reset towards a more circular way of working. So it's super cool right now that these students are really making innovations themselves. That should be something that Kingpins physically when we're back should, should show and share with everybody. Yeah, true, true. Hopefully next time. Last question, then we got to run. Tell us a little bit about all the action going on with Denim City in Brazil. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think, honestly, I would have loved to be in Brazil this week. Of course, Kingpins here, yes. Uh, but wouldn't it have been nice if we would all would go there? So Denim City Amsterdam was the first one. And now we open Denim City uh, in Sao Paulo. It's 
10 times bigger, maybe 100 times bigger than the one in Amsterdam. It's completely the same setup, but a huge size. It's a collaboration of all the companies in Brazil. And they have from showrooms to laundry to, well, also they, they basically copy to food Holland there as well. So they have food and drinks and you can follow them on Instagram uh, uh, right now because they're live. So, uh, I think it's super cool because we would love to have denim cities in every continent. And this is the first one outside of Amsterdam. Fantastic. That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for coming. Welcome. And I would love to say one more thing because in a couple of hours we have Amsterdam Denim Days. Eh? So uh, everyone has to stay <laughs> tune in as well because that's going to be an online event as well. All right. That's a nice plug. Everyone should okay. go to Denim Days. Thank okay. you. All right. New beginnings, Andrew. New beginnings. Thank you. Take See care. See you soon. Bye. Bye.